spaceship Earth. A delicate jewel in a vast universe. Saving it has become a global priority. T minus two minutes and hold. Pre programmed hold for final systems check. Final systems check complete. The countdown has started for a space mission unlike anything ever attempted. Not a government, but a privately funded team prepares to make history. Foundation has joined forces with Google, the world's largest search engine, to create the biggest international prize ever. And it's open to private enterprise from any nation. $30 million in prize money is offered to the first two privately funded teams to land and rove a robotic craft on the lunar surface. The mission will push ingenuity further than ever before. 25,000 miles per hour. Distance to target, 238,856 miles. Pitch angle on profile. Lander beginning to set. Altitude lights gone. Man, the sound looks good. Distance to primary. 75 feet. Have we made contact? Affirmative. Contact light is on. We are on the surface. Nice work. The first ever privately funded vehicle has successfully landed on the moon. Roll out initiated. All systems are go. Until recently, space was off limits to the public. But in 2004, the winners of the Ansari X Prize proved that private enterprise could travel to space in a reliable, reusable spacecraft less expensively than any government program. The competition ignited a revolution that will launch thousands of civilian passengers into space. Today, the Google Lunar X Prize is challenging free enterprise to reach much further, to the moon to pave the way to harnessing its wealth of resources. Only days away, it's Earth's partner in a unique two-world system. That's one. These early missions learned much about the moon. But they were far too expensive and lacked any long-term plan. So in 1972, Moon 1.0 was abandoned. Earth's offshore island, the moon, can become our greatest asset. It could help provide our world with abundant resources and clean, affordable, limitless energy. The Google Lunar X Prize is designed to kickstart Moon 2.0, a revolution in space to benefit all humanity. Much of the lunar soil is silicon, the key ingredient in solar cells. In the future, the silicon could be mined and used to build huge solar power satellites. These satellites could be deployed to capture clean solar energy for the Earth. Each one capable of powering a large city. 
Part of the prize purse includes bonuses for teams that achieve extraordinary performance. We are coming up on the crater rim. Like finding ice in the permanently shadowed craters of the lunar south pole. Drive and stop before crater rim. Lights on. Look at that. Spectral analysis confirms presence of water ice. Ice could be broken down into hydrogen and oxygen. Elements vital to lunar habitation and to producing rocket fuel, propelling us to new worlds. The lunar night is extremely cold. So there's an added cash prize for the team that is able to survive the equivalent of two Earth weeks of brutally frigid temperatures. It's gonna be a long lunar night. Rise and shine, people. Rover is powered up and back in action. Finally, to connect with our space heritage, there's a bonus prize for the first team to find artifacts of previous exploration. We have located the Apollo land. Congratulations, everyone. Mission accomplished. Today, the Google Lunar X Prize ignites our imagination, allows us all to participate, and challenges private enterprise to take us back to the moon. And this time, we're planning to stay. Moon 2.0, join the revolution.